This is my 2003 Boxster S, and today we're going to change the oil and upgrade the oil filter with an LN Engineering spin-on full-flow oil filter adapter and a spin-on oil filter. Let's get started. The center of the pan underneath the oil drain plug. I'm using an extension, 8-bit hex, as I said. 8 mils, pushing up, keep pushing up so the oil doesn't come shooting out. And then pull it away. Now we're going to remove the filter now that the oil is down to a light drip. Most of it's come off. In this case, the plastic oil filter cover has been tightened by a gorilla. <laughs> Not me. Again, pushing up so it's completely free. And as you see, I did a quick little backhand to dump what was in the plastic container out. And just let it drain. Okay, the oil's still dripping a little bit out of the bottom of the pan. And then over here is the oil filter, the old one. I've taken off the cover and I will remove that now and clean it up to put on the new spin-on adapter. Now that the oil filter plastic housing is off, we just jiggle the old filthy filter off, which is filthy, actually, as I said. Okay. Taking new magnetic plug. Make sure you use a new ring. New ring's on. This is aluminum, so you're going to want to torque it to 19 foot-pounds. Get it up snug first. Now we are going to take a little bit of oil, and we're going to lubricate this inner O-ring of the adapter, the outer o-ring, and we're going to seat it up into the engine. You'll start to feel it seat into the engine. And there is the filter adapter installed. Okay, now we're going to take some fresh oil and we're going to pre-fill the oil filter. We'll take some of that fresh oil and really, really lubricate this rubber ring because this is the seal up against the engine. Now I'm putting on the filter. I've pre-filled it with some oil and like with everything, be gentle, feel the threading. So it spins freely. You don't want to cross thread anything and be unhappy. There, and it's on firmly. That should be good. And now I'm going to torque it to 19 foot pounds. All right, so drain plugs in, filters on. Let's add our oil. Definitely take care here. We have approximately nine to ten quarts to go in. So I want to make sure that you just 
Just take your time so you don't slosh it all over your trunk. Okay, so we've put in five quarts. Just checking. I checked underneath the car. No leaks, thank God. Okay, we put up to six and a half quarts in. Checking all the time. On the dipstick, I also used the key gauge just to check. And per the instructions of other people, what have you, I would put it in half quart increments. So six and a half to seven, seven to seven and a half, always checking. We got it up to eight quarts, and it was just registering about midway on the dipstick. So we started the car up at that point, brought the car up to operating temperature and a little short little drive, which by the way was awesome. It sounds great, it runs way better. And now, um, as I said, we have eight quarts in. I'm just opening the ninth because it's registering slightly low after the drive. So I'm gonna to top it off a little bit and see where we are then. There, okay. I've put in eight and two-thirds quarts of oil. Give or take a few drops. So, as I said, make sure you keep adding about the quarter to half quart increment just to make sure you don't overfill it. That is nothing you want to do at all. Because then you have to take it out. Anyway, that's the oil change. It's a little messy, I admit. It was a little frustrating at times, but you saw it all, and I encourage you to do the same. It really is rewarding, and I have to say, the engine sounds fantastic. Oh yeah, ready to go. Good luck.